Hi, you all out on YouTube. This is Sandra, a.k.a. Simply Love, your girl, coming back here with a video for your love reading for May 2016. And this is going to be for the sign of Pisces. How are all you Pisces doing out there? I'm going to tell you, I have to apologize for being um, late with my videos. I usually have them on time, but I was swamped with readings. So I do apologize for that, and I'm getting them out one by one. I even had some internet problems as well with my Wi-Fi, so, but I seem to have gotten that all straightened out. So I'm going to make these videos, you know, I'm not going to shuffle on on um, camera anymore because it just takes too long for them to upload. It takes forever for it to upload, and um, so I'm going to, you know, be cutting this not making them as long as what I, I normally do, you know, what, and basically it's me doing a bunch of jibber jabbing, so I have to cut that out. <laughs> but, you know, I have to do what the angel guides tell me to do anyway. Um, so, let's get on with the reading, and this is for May 2016, and the, I'm going to start the reading out with a crystal reading. I'm going to look in here and tell me what um, the messages that they have here for you uh, Pisces and tell you what I see in here and it's only going to resonate to some it's not going to resonate for everybody because this is just a general reading and um it's not for everybody it's just for some um if it and if any of you want to have a personal private reading with me just look below you'll see all my information in the description and I just want to thank each and every one of you who I read for this month my schedule was double full and when I mean double full I mean double full I had to squeeze people in. They wanted reading so doggone bad. But I appreciate each and every one of you who called in. And I hope you do listen to your angel guides and make the right choices in your life. Because it's very detrimental at this time that you do. Or you'll be locked up in some kind of situation that you don't want to be in for a long time. And you're going to wish that you had made that decision to move forward. Okay? With that said, let's get on with the red end. I'm not going to just preach no more. I gotta stop preaching. <laughs> okay, just give me a moment while I focus in. Right now, I'm looking, you know what? It just appeared right to me. I'm looking at like clouds, and the clouds are just moving. They're moving all over the place. It looked it look like a, it looked like to me like a tornado is getting ready to land somewhere or trying to land somewhere. The clouds are moving. I'm looking at this tornado, and it's, it looked like it's, um, can't hardly see what that in the background is it looks like a it looks like it looks like a church house or a house or something because of the way it's shaped most church houses have that this and down like almost like a pyramid look and that's what it's kind of looked at or a ranch something like maybe like out in the desert or you know out all by itself but it's no there's no trees nothing it's just the house sitting here and I just see a all these clouds coming over it or coming towards it and then I see and then I see like a um a, a tornado and it looks like it's coming that direction or it already has came that direction. And that's all I'm seeing out of here. It, you know, that's what I see. It could resonate to some, maybe even just res res resonate with one person. I don't know. But that's what I've seen out of there. Don't know why that message popped up, but it did. All right. That's what I saw out of there. All right, now let's get on with the reading for you Pisces for the first week, or this could be in the passing, which is the three of, uh, three of Swords. That could be in the passing for a lot of you uh, Pisces that you had a serious breakup with somebody that you've been with for a long time, or it could be for some of you that it just was a back and forth relationship. Nobody really made a commitment. One wanted a commitment, but the other was not, um, they weren't um, emotionally available for some of you. For some of you, he was, he had somebody else already. And for some of you, it just was, it just was a bad relationship. It was like, and, and, you know, and the swords is the energy of air. Uh, it brings on the energy of your thoughts, you know, what's in your thought, your mind. This is uh, in your thought. It was a heartbreak to you, a serious heartbreak. 
whether it's a male or female that you have either gone through this already or you're getting ready to go through this or you're preparing for this for some of you some of you already it has taken place already some of you are preparing for this you're just like giving up if you look at this woman and this could be male or female with the swords in their hands you know it's like they've been fighting for this relationship or fighting to be with this person the one that's walking away is the one that's fought for fought harder than the one that's standing in the back because you can see her face is or it could be a him too depending on watching the video that she's worn out you know like you know she's worn out she's tired and she's crying and she hurt heart hurts too you know she's really hurt she's doing she's walking away because she has to uh she has no other alternative she's not feeling like him or her is not feeling right in this relationship anymore with this other person and with the three of swords it also can mean for some of you it was a three-way relationship there was just two people and this one person in the middle of the relationship for some of you pisces that's what i'm picking up but i feel as though a lot of you that this happened to in the past is um you know overcome that you overcame uh you know fighting against this situation because this is upside down it is the um the page of swords and this bugger could be a little nasty sometime <laughs> you know he could start some stuff sometime you know if you get at him too much he could really ha let you have it but you was carrying this energy which but you turned it, it was in the passing for some of you for some of you that's is coming up to it's like you're going to break up it's going to be a heartache for you but or somebody's going to do this to you. But it shows you getting over that in time. You know, you're going to stop fighting. You're going to stop trying. Some of y'all want to get back at that person. With This is what I'm getting from the spirit guide. You want to get back at that person. But being that it's upside down, you, you kind of thought about it and say, hey, you know, it ain't worth all that. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't worth all that. Especially to the ones where this person walked away from you. There was a third party involved, so it made a heartbreak. Somebody found out for some of you. For some of you, you already knew about it, but that somebody broke it off completely. Um, and also, it around the third week of May, I'm seeing that this is judgment, which is judgment's a major arcana card. Let me put this. Oh my God, put this thing down here so y'all can see. Cards, okay cards my little angels and stuff all right um this is coming out of the dark into the light the um judgment card is showing that uh, you were in the darkness dark for too long and they are opening the gates up for you to walk to come up out of the darkness take it release yourself from bondage and come up out of here and just start living your life we got a life for you to live is what the angels you see them standing up there they're the ones that open that um that uh or put push that rock back so you can um see the light and walk towards it see how they're yelling for you the angels in the background they're yelling for you to come on it's time to come on out of this come on out of this get on over this you know what i'm saying we got better things for you we, we got a better life a better future for you so walk forward they're showing you the better future because they're opening the leading you from the darkness to the light they're shining the light so you can come up out of the darkness uh pisces a lot of you pisces out there uh and they're leading they're going to be leading you to a better life so they want you to stop this mess of crying over spilt milk because they hear they're showing you they're giving you the light they showed you what you needed to see so you can walk away from it and move into something better they only did it so you can get something better because this just apparently wasn't for you there's too much heartache too much heartbreak too much uh there was infidelity here if you were a married couple or even if you were in a relationship, it's too much. Um, um, there was too many um, painful situations. And like I said, uh, um, um, somebody messing up, you know, or messing around with somebody else. And, you know, all that became uh, and you still tried to hang in there with that person. But it just like there was something about them just couldn't didn't appreciate or this could be for some of you who done it who this was done some of you pisces this was done to by this person this person may be suffering now from karma this may be them 
suffering uh, uh, in regret thinking about you know how they had it and they ruined it all you know all for a piece of what piece of butt doing the butt you know that song doing the butt that is that you 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 sacrificed a good relationship for that and for some of you you've done this to somebody else and now you're in regret but for the majority i'm feeling this was done to you pisces Because this is you, uh, it, it, this water sign is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer with the energies of that. So you were, you know, crying, um, making a hip, molehill, you know, kind of like crying over spilt milk. It's all spilt, all the cups are spilt except two or three more in the background. And what they're trying to tell you is to pick yourself up and, and, and move towards the light again they're stressing this to you again with the next card here they're stressing to you it's like you're walking up towards the light but are you really there or like i said this could be the other person suffering karma but they still have offerings of uh redemption because this is light here this is a place where you can pick turn around get up stop looking at all the things that were that you know were knocked down and tossed down and everything and, and all the bad things that happen and start turn around and, and, and go through this door where there's light at and you can pick up the cups that haven't been spilled over so this is a starting all over get picking yourself up dust yourself off and um pick them cups up that's left there that's still turned or there's still opportunity there for you for love there there's still opportunity and maybe more than one it looks like maybe three you might have a multiple opportunity of love with those three cups still sitting there, but you got to get out of your self pity and sorrow and turn around and see that opportunity and go for it. Sorry, y'all. That's what I'm getting, Pisces. Time for you to go for other things. Time for you to leave your options open and stop worrying about one person or one situation that happened to you. There's gazillions of men and women in this world that we do not have to suffer that kind of, uh, a treatment to ourselves and, and nobody that's worth that much uh going to believe me it ain't worth it in the end you're going to be sitting back kicking yourself in the butt one day saying what was i crying over them about but anyway moving forward there's justice uh where you're protected you know um you feel like you're in protection um i'm looking at this for spiritually speaking that um you know, you have the black and the white poles here and, and you're like, you're in the middle and you're guarding yourself and you're starting all over again with a book. Their book there represents to me like starting a, just writing your own book, starting all over again, like starting over from scratch is what I'm saying with a relationship or even with yourself. Uh, and and you're protected with judgment or it could be, like I said, that other person may be going through judgment themselves for what happened they may be going through a karmic relationship uh and they're being judged on their own accordance not you but your own accord their own accordance for what they've done you know can't nobody never get away with nothing it never happens that's why it's not worth crying over it is not worth the tears because they're going to suffer way more than what you did way more than what you have suffered so don't cry L know that everything's going to be okay i'm not saying it's okay to be happy over somebody else's demise but they put it basically on themselves by by their action if they treated you wrong or something of that nature but it's nothing to you know be glad about or happy about i mean you know um just keep worry about yourself and don't worry about this other person here anymore any longer just let them go cut the ties now next to them, i'm looking at the uh eight of pentacles um i'm feeling with this card if you're married and you're breaking up out of a marriage or going for a divorce that you're going to win for some of you pisces out there you're going to win more you're going to have the money or come out on top when it comes to the money this could also mean child support you know, taking care of a child and they get money for child support um, out of, for some of you, out of the court situation or, you know, through the divorce decree. You may be um, getting some money uh, for um, knowing that they had infidelity and they have proof of that. As long as they have proof of that, you're going to be awarded some type of judgment um, 
for them to pay you alimony. That's what I'm getting out of this. Like maybe alimony or child support, something of maybe both. Maybe both for some of you Pisces out there. For some of you Pisces, you know, you're moving on into entrepreneurship. Um, this this heartbreak made you really focus more on yourself and getting yourself together and getting prepared for that next step with judgment in here. Getting you, writing your own book, doing your own thing, guarding yourself. From the two entities, the dark side and the light side, which is black and white, you're kind of in the middle where you need to be. So you have control over the darkness and you have control over the light. Okay, that's what that kind of there's there there that's just another group that I'm trying to get everybody if they can connect to what I'm trying to say. So moving forward on, there's you end up with a major arcana card, which is the star. The justice is also major arcana. And judgment is major arcana. And you got one more. So there's some heavy energy around you right now, Pisces, that's pushing you to do the right thing. And they're saying leave your options open. I'm getting with the, uh, the star card. Leave your options open. Uh, there's plenty more to come. You don't have to worry just about one person. Uh, for some, they're saying reach for the star. Uh, make your wish right now because the star is by your side. Your angel guides are by your side. Make a wish. Wish for your soulmate. Call in your soulmate. Uh, somebody special for you. Write down all the good things that you want in a person this next go round. Make sure you do also mention you want them to be available and uh, emotionally available as well. Those are the two big things, top, I believe, top on the, on the knot. And that they are a provider as well. That, that comes as two because you both can provide for each other instead of one, it being one-sided. Please don't seek a relationship to where it's one-sided, where one's giving to uh, the other uh, way too much, and the other one's just like laying back, taking it, you know, just taking it because you're giving it to them. Don't don't put yourself in that kind of situation, okay? And here with the high priest here is some kind of uh, uh, internal spiritual, some kind of spiritual uh, awakening, some kind of spiritual counseling. From a, a, a spiritual counselor, somebody that gives you could give you good advice, somebody who's knowledgeable, somebody who can help you when you're in need, somebody that you can just talk to and they just listen to you. That may be spiritual or could be a preacher or a teacher coming in here for you, Pisces. If you need somebody to talk to, you're you confide in this person or they or, or giving you the energies that you know pray, meditate. Bring with the star card, which is another major, and this is major as well. The uh, the high priest, he's knowledgeable, like I said, and he's psychic, he's uh, clairvoyant, uh, and he's got, got a lot to offer as far as knowledge, and he's got a lot to offer spiritually. He can spiritually uh, nourish you back to health again over from this. From this heartache and pain that you suffered because you're still a little scarred and, and he's sitting right underneath of it saying he's there to help you um, and give you some direction and some light and so shed some light on the situation so you can move forward. And even with the star car which is Major Arcana that's another big energy that's coming in saying hey just make your wish. And we'll make it come true for you. And with the high priestess is saying, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to be, we, I got your back here. As long as you make the right decision that you want to move forward, I got your back. I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you things. I'm going to tell you things. You just have to be still and listen because there is better coming. You can make a wish with the star card and with the high priestess backing you up. Priestess, priest, I meant backing you up. With the um, giving you the knowledge and the information that you need through your spirit guides, you will come out just fine, Pisces. You'll be just fine. A lot of you Pisces out there. And so that's it with that reading. I hope some of it resonated with you. Like I said, I'm going to try to say what I have to say, and you know, um, uh, and make it a little shorter than what I've been making them because it's just so much. Use it so much time to. 
to upload these videos. Really does. Ask anybody, they'll tell you. So I'm going to be reading uh, a message from your angel guides, okay? So I'm going to pick one from here to give you a message. And I didn't shuffle these, so I'm going to shuffle them now. And see what your angels have to say to you. See which angel is around you right now or around me that wants to come out and say something to you as a ending to this story for some of you Pisces that resonate with this. popped out so let me do that one for your message angel okay you got angel serena angel serena for you pisces out there let me see what angel serena has to say she says i am the angel of abundance you will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. And I, so I said here when it regards money um, for some of you that may be going through child support or maybe getting child support is going to be all in your favor or maybe getting um, alimony if you're you know separating from a divorce or following divorce things are going to work out and serena has backed me up on that your angel serena has backed me up on that saying that very same thing okay now i'm going to reach in this box i got a bunch of cards and these are your this is going to be the love tarot card this is your bonus card right here your, the love tarot there's like a whole bunch of them in this box now they come in their own little box and this is what it looks like when you get them and they're this square box you know and it comes with I don't know how many is in here it's a bunch of them and it re just reveals words and tells you stuff clear clearly written on them they're very nice I like them called poppies p-o-p-p-y posture s love terror if you want to get them they're expensive Okay, let's, let me pull one as I shuffle in my little box, my little pretty box that I bought to put them in. I'm going to pick one out for you Pisces. Now, I got it. They have stuff written on the bottom and top in case it comes out on top or the bottom. They have both of them. This one came out upside down, okay? It came out upside down. It says another chance. So again, with the this goes together with your reading with the high priestess here and the star card here giving you hope and the judgment and justice. All of that is telling me with that all that energy together, it means you have a here it is. You have another chance. You got another chance at love, as I said, even with the uh, five of cups where you feel like you know all your cups uh, cups you're focusing on all the cups that's been turned over when there's still three left so that means opportunities uh if you just you know t stand up and turn around and look with the high priestess is there to guide you spiritually the star card is there to make your wish so to so the high priestess can guide you spiritually the justice is saying you can write your own book for some of you Pisces out there right you can start all over again and write your own book but be a little guarded this time don't wear your heart on your shoulders for anybody you seem like you're going to guard yourself you seem like you're going to it also mean balance and being fair as well so there's going to be some fairness out of this situation when it regards money for anybody who is separating or divorced divorcing or who a couple who been together for a while and had a lot of assets together they you know you don't have to worry about fighting over that because it's going to be equally or even more towards your way shows me with this heartbreak of this catching them being in uh, with infidelity for a long time it may have been happening and you not knowing it until or putting up with it for some of y'all put up with it for a long time you just got tired and said to hell with it uh, I gotta go even though it does hurt we came a long way together my heart is still with you because the heart is broken it's the broken heart card 
and um, it really took you for a whop here. Listen to the angel guides. Listen to all these uh, major arcana cards you have working in your favor. And listen to your love tarot card here that says there's another chance coming. So you can rest assured there's something else coming for you. A lot of you Pisces who may be in doubt. And you also was backed up by your um, your angel Serena with, with her words that she said. Okay, so I hope you all like that and I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, it was pretty good, you know, to me. It all it all comes well, but it all depends on you and your decisions. We're not magical workers here. We're just here to deliver the messages. You still have free will to do whatever you want to do. It's, 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 it's you, you and your decision on how you want this to work out for you. And that's all we do is just deliver the messages. You take it from there. You know, we tell you, the good, tell you what to watch out for, tell you what they see, but... There's nothing that we can tell you what to do. You have to make up your own mind to do what you need to do to make a better life for yourself if that's what you want to do. And that means, you know, you're going to have to end up focusing on yourself. You're going to have to put yourself first and, and everything else will just follow, okay? Okay, so like I said, thank you all for all your beautiful posts. Um, thank you for posting to Facebook some reviews. That really was very nice of you. I really appreciate it. And I hear every one of you can't couldn't get to every one of you this month. That's for sure. Because like I said, I've been very, very busy. And I really appreciate you guys who called in for personal readings. And I hope you really got something out of it. I thank you all for um, sharing and caring, you know, and sharing my videos all over social media. All the beautiful comments. I see you guys out there. Yes, I do. And I really appreciate you being part of my channel. If you're not subscribed, I suggest you look below and hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, you know, do your thing. Uh, the only thing is that I'm not going to have any kind of negativity, neg negative comments on my, um, on my, um, channel because that's how much I love myself you know that's how much I feel as though you know and and plus you know the most high God is in this he's the one that's directing this whole situation here not me I'm just being used um so he don't want any negativity so there's going to be no negativity any type of negativity that comes on with when it comes to comments and things I'm not telling you that you're free to, to say what you want to say but if it comes to nonsense that, that's going to be taken off and I'm going to block you from the channel. I don't care about no numbers and all that stuff about how many people is on my channel. I don't care about people that need help, that people need some serious help. That's what I'm here for. I'm not worried about the numbers. So if you just want to unsubscribe, that's fine. But if you're going to leave derogatory comments, I'm telling you, you're going to be blocked in all ways that I can find Google Plus and YouTube and that's all I got to say about that but I love each and every one of you and I hope you have a great May and I'll see you sometime in the mid-May uh, 2016 okay take care and I love you all bye bye